quarters of Kiwani, Illinois, it's the Vinyl Exile with Jamal Wilson. Up here, it's all about the vinyl, the whole vinyl, and nothing but the vinyl, so help me God. Up here, there is no politics, no left wing, no right wing, just a 360 degree trip around that magical world that they call the spinning record. This show follows a few simple rules, okay? All the music comes from a vinyl source. The tracks are never repeated. You're only going to hear a track once. And also, none of the tracks are cleaned up or altered. The skips and the pops are intentional. And all of the shows are going to stay within the two-hour mark, give or take. Now, let's enjoy some Sonic Milk from the Musical Teat. Welcome to episode 38, which is called Sex Wex, because this time we're paying tribute to a very underappreciated form of music that appears in movies, and that's music that's been in porn films. A lot of work goes into that, even though you don't really think about it when you watch it, but there's been a lot of different artists that have done adult film soundtracks that are um that are very established but they wanted to do a side off project and they did that eddie van halen was one um so so let's get this started with the opening theme song from one of the most important porn films ever
You'll have number 11. You're welcome. You'll have 12. Oh. Have a drink, sit down, relax. Wait until your number's called. What are we doing, holding a raffle here? I never want anything anyway. Don't worry, honey. Everybody gets a little piece of this action. <laughs>
soundtrack music from the Italian Stallion. That was Living the High Life from Del Casher. And before that, All Pink on the Inside from Sandy Hewitt and Bernard Purdy off the Lila soundtrack. I Want to Eat Your Puddin' from Alvis Wayne from the Teenage Cruiser soundtrack. And then we had She Wants It Black from Alex Pudu and Maximo Florentino off of the Golden Age of Danish Pornography Volume 2 soundtrack. And I started out the set with Driving with Linda from, it says Unknown, but um, story had it, producer Kenny Vance did the soundtrack for Deep Throat when it was first released. But that would be a good subject um, for um, the Rialto Report to tell its do one of its shows about I mean <laughs> anyway you got Jamal Wilson this is episode 38 called Sex Wax in which we pay tribute to porn soundtracks from the golden era of porn and um, when you heard me uh, introduce um, Driving of Linda you heard me call it one of the most important uh, porn films ever made now, notice what I said, most important. I didn't say it was good. I actually finally watched the movie Deep Throat um, for the first time in my life um, about two, two or three months ago. And honestly, I didn't think it was that good. I, I mean, I understand why it's important. It was the first major film, studio film, that showed graphic penetrative sex in it which made it a huge hit that's where the term porno chic came from other than that it's not a good movie I mean I'm not I wasn't that impressed with it the same definitely goes for the Italian Stallion which was um, a movie that Sylvester Stallone um, it's his only porn film that he did um, after um he was found sleeping in a bus station for two days. He had been evicted from his apartment. And he did the movie for, I think, like $300. And um, it's the worst film I've ever seen in my life. And I have to, I, I, I think about that. The th- You know, I've watched movies coherently for 45 years. And out of 45 years of film viewing, The Italian Stallion is the worst film I've ever sat through. It, it, it's just, I mean, the only thing I, that I want to say good about the film is the soundtrack. And the music wasn't made when the film was first made. Del Casher had made an album inspired by Rocky movies. And he had made it and then just put it aside and went on with other stuff when the Italian Stallion got purchased and was going to be re-released and they took the original soundtrack off of it which was like old boogaloo music and stuff like that they approached Del Casher for using his music and he was like okay fine whatever so that was how the soundtrack that was how that music ended up on the soundtrack of the Italian Stallion. And you may think, you know, hey, look, it's a porn movie. Do you, uh, they're supposed to be bad. No, they're not. I mean, they, they are, there's tons of adult films that actually have plots and style and acting and excellent sex scenes in them. But this wasn't one of them and didn't have any of it. I mean, I swear to God, I, it was the longest for the Italian Stallion. It was the longest 74 minutes I ever sat through. I mean, it, it's okay. L- l- let's just, okay. Let, let's take it and put it in a different equation. Okay. Let's pretend Sylvester Stallone isn't even in the movie. Let's just assume you go in because you're going to watch a porn film called Party of Kitty and Studs. And you're just going to see this movie, regardless of who's starring in it. The film wouldn't have worked. It still would have sucked. It would have been even worse. 
you know, at least the Stallone thing brings in a factor of curiosity. And I didn't want to... Nah, my curiosity was more than enough to get through that movie. So, i tell you what. On the other hand, let's uh, keep going with more music. Here's some more music from the soundtrack of Golden Age of Danish Pornography. This is Horny at the Office. <laughs>
Case 358, Albert Finster, age 25, bachelor, has an obsession in finding out that they really do go better with coke. Uh, relax your muscles, my dear. That's...
Lila, performed by Bernard Pretty Purdy, off of the uh, soundtrack of the same album, Lila, which was the first movie to be a predominantly all African American cast. But it still wasn't any good. The soundtrack was good. Actually, the soundtrack's better than the movie, which I highly, highly recommend picking up on vinyl. But uh, the film itself, eh, I own it on Blu-ray. I watched it. There was only really one good scene in the movie. Well, two. One involved Andrea True, um, the porn star who later became a disco singer. She's in it doing a lesbian scene. The other one is that when I played earlier, um, All Pink on the Inside, All Black on the Outside, that was a musical dance number. That's actually good in the film. Other than that, eh, eh, at least the sex wasn't bad in the film. I mean, it. Eh, I own it, you know. I'll just... I'm, basically, what I'm doing with my film collection is it's like... Once I die, I just will it over to my friend Scott Skorsky. I let him have it, you know, and then he'll deal with it whatever he wants, whatever. Before that, we had Taken It by the Rim Shots off of the Patty soundtrack. Patty is a movie that is a porn version of the Patty Hearst story. So they released it in three versions. They released it in an R-rated version, they released it in an X-rated version, and they released it in a triple X-rated version. Most of the copies have been destroyed, but Vinegar Syndrome was able to find a copy, but they find a negative, but they haven't put it out yet. I'm really looking forward to that. The soundtrack's actually really good because um, it contains, contains music from actual established R&B artists. The Moments, The Rim Shots, singer Chuck Jackson. Um, you'll hear more um, in the sh later in the show. And before that, we had... The Rope by Alex Pudu and Maximo Florentino. And then we had Pussy Cola from the Deep Throat soundtrack. And then Horny at the Office, once again, from Alex Pudu and Maximo Florentino. You've got Jamal Wilson, and this is episode 38, Sex Wax, in which we pay tribute to music that was made for porn films from the Golden Era. Because why not? Who else is going to do this subject? I mean, <laughs> all this music sitting out there. And the thing about it is is that um, there's a movie, there's an excellent film directed by Rent's Dream called Cafe Flesh. The music was done by Mitchell Froome, who was a producer that worked with Crowded House, um, Martin, Cr um, no, I don't want to say, Matthew Crenshaw. I mean, and, it's, and it was written by Jerry Stahl, who wrote the book Permanent Midnight. And um, I wish I could get my hands on that soundtrack because that's a really interesting electronic soundtrack. They're going to do a special edition Blu-ray of the movie. I hope they include a um, CD of it. So let's keep this. Um, let's keep the porn train going with uh, some more deep throat music. <laughs>
Don't worry. Money is no object. Look, I got Blue Cross.
heart on my mind And I'm a look look in the old me a warm But she mighty hard to find Lord, ask my country cousin Check the hottest spots in town Oh, that little bitty woman Well, she just ain't around Hey, 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 oh, I'm a look Look in
Quote me on that, but I think that's who it was. And before that, Love the People, Love for the People by Chuck Jackson off of the Patty soundtrack. And then before that, we had That Certain Female from Charlie Feathers. Now, an interesting thing about that is that's from a porn soundtrack from a film called Teenage Cruisers, which is like a x-rated version of american graffiti and it's a pretty good movie it's very funny very raunchy very witty it stars john holmes serena and bill margold and a few others and it's actually pretty good i own it i love it it's great the rest of the soundtrack is full of other rockabilly artists that um i'd highly recommend billy zoom and charlie feathers and other people that you'll hear um later in the show the interesting thing about that song is that other than it being in the movie Teenage Cruisers, it was also used in Kill Bill, uh, Quentin Tarantino's Kill Bill. He, it's played during the scene where Sheriff Earl McGraw is driving to the scene of the crime of the church after everybody's been shot and killed, and that song is playing in his car. So I just find it funny that me and Quentin Tarantino own the same porn soundtrack on vinyl. That just cracks me up. <laughs> and um, before that certain female, we had Deep Throat to You off the Deep Throat soundtrack. Boys and Girls and Danish Hot Dogs from Alex Padu and Maxim Massimo Florentino. 
and then started it out with Love is Strange once again from the Deep Throat soundtrack. You've got Jamal Wilson on the um, doing sex wax on. Okay, I gotta. Okay, I can't hide this anymore. If you're hearing voices behind me, I'm on the second floor of my house recording this show. My wife is throwing a party with her friends in which they're watching Hocus Pocus 2. I ain't watching that fucking movie. So I decided to record a show while they were doing that. So, you know, they're drunk and smoking and eating, and so they might get a little loud. So that's what you're hearing in the background if this microphone picks up, because sometimes this mic is pretty sensitive. <laughs> so, so now that I told you that... <laughs> Let's uh, actually do some music from another uh, genius of adult filmmaking, Russ Meyer. Um, this is from the soundtrack of Cherry, Harry, and Raquel from Bill Luce called Cherry's Theme. <laughs>
many people in the world today, and everybody's got something to say. You gotta be strong or they'll spit in your eye. You can't stand still or they'll pass you by. Are you hip to it? Are you hip to it? Well, do you know how to do it? Well, then you better hop to it. Well, I'm hip to it, and it sure looks good to me. Well, things going on at a furious pace. You gotta get up and go like you're running a race. But you can be happy just to listen to me. Rock and roll music gonna set you free. Get it? know how to do it, well, then you better hop to it, well I'm hip to it, it sure looks good to me, all right boys put some meat on the bridge. You better believe we ain't got much time. Looks to me like it's the end of the line. Are you head to it? Well, are you head to it? Well, do you know how to do it? Well, then you better hop to it. Well, I'm head to it. It sure looks good to me. Just ask me. I believe so. Yeah, I'm head to it. Do you know how to do it? Do we do we do it?
jacket and cowboy boots Got a sweet little mama that can really move She kissed me here and she kissed me there We'll make music everywhere Doing the backseat boogie Oh, backseat boogie We'll be hugging and squeezing Never, never teasing to the backseat boogie Everybody there, they want to rock She said, sugar, let's go get it on We'll make music all night long In the backseat boogie Oh, backseat boogie We'll be hugging in the squeeze And never, never keep doing the backseat boogie oh! Well, I've told you all that you need to know About my chick Shulking hall. She told me for the hundredth time. Hop with the back, you choking the spine. In the backseat boogie. Hold backseat boogie. We've been hugging in the streets and never, never need to do the backseat boogie. It sure feels great. I'm gonna do it in my Haiti. Hey. From the soundtrack of Vixen by Bill Luce. Before that, Backseat Boogie by Jerry Sikorsky. Dance Alone from Del Casher. Toys of Our Time from the Jacks and the Balls. Patty, the title theme from the um, film Patty. Um, from the Moments, Are You Hep to It with Johnny Legend. The Vixen, also from Bill Luce. And then we also started out the set from the soundtrack of Cherry Harry and Raquel. And that was Cherry's theme. So now, here's some more music from Pretty Pearly from the Lila soundtrack.
Vinyl Exile was written and performed by Jamal Wilson. The podcast was produced by Jamal Wilson and Jason McKeever Wilson. The logo was created by the irreplaceable Ann Almgren. Special thanks goes to Ribbon Records and Younger Than Yesterday Records in Peoria, Illinois, Co-op Records in Sterling, Illinois, and Discogs Online. Don't forget to uh, tell your friends and loved ones about the show. I can always be contacted through messaging through Vinyl Exile at Instagram and Facebook. Finally, once again, thank you so much um, for your patience and your loyalty to my show. This is a tough new era for all of us, regardless of our, of our ideals and beliefs. Just please stay home and stay safe. Support your local businesses, wear face masks, wash your hands, and be civil and compassionate to each other and everything around you. Make sure that you protect life, protect nerd power, take care, and be seeing you.